Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So I thought it was about time we did some technology on this tech channel. So we're going to be looking at today uh, the new Mac Mini, keyboard and mouse, and we're going to be bench testing it against my old Mac Mini, which looks identical by the way, to see if I'm getting much of an improvement. The regular viewers will know that I just came back from a uh, uneventful <laughs> uh, road trip. Uh oh, the police have arrived. I drove up from Italy, from Genoa in Italy, and I drove back to the UK. It was, it was effectively a two day road trip. And I filmed for the entire trip, uh, more or less. And because of that, I had loads of footage that I had to sort through when I got back. And I made uh, three or four videos from that footage. So what happened is my Mac really started to struggle with that information. So I, I have a rule where I only buy new, new technology if it is gonna really impact me. I'm not, a, I don't buy a new phone every year, etc. So the Mac I have, the Mac mini I've been using for the, uh, is, is from 2014, so it's seven years old. And it's been okay, but this, re, this recent upgrade, the recent uh, operating system upgrade from Apple, has really um, caused it to start to struggle. And, um, you know, I, I want to shoot with high resolutions and stuff like that, so I needed a new computer. Now, I really wanted to get the new MacBook Pro with the M1 processor. This is a new processor from Apple that, that they're producing their own processors, finally. And um, it's, it's proven in some bench tests I've seen to, to be a really, really good processor. Now, I, I wanted the MacBook Pro with the M1, but it's the this, this 16-inch with the big screen. But it's not available yet. It's not been released yet. And there's currently no release dates for it, as far as I can tell. So I decided to upgrade my Mac Mini uh, with the new version, which does have the M1 processor. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do an unboxing of the new uh, computer, keyboard, and mouse. And then I'm gonna run a bench test in Final Cut Pro to see if we get any improvements and my money was worth it. All right, let's get on with it. All right, let's get, let's get busy. So like I said, Mac Mini with the new M1 processor, and it is a, uh, I, I upgraded it. If you buy one standard, then you can just pick it up from the shop. But if you want to have extra RAM put in or a bigger hard drive, you order it and then they deliver it from China. And this just arrived. I, I had it, uh, I had some things added. I'm using a scalpel, because I don't have anything better. I need to get a decent knife. I love the experience of open, opening uh, stuff from Apple. They were the first ones to do this. Now, I've noticed now that a lot of people, a lot of companies, they have these white boxes and they really take care of the, how it's packed in the box, every detail. And it, it was Apple that did that first. So, here we go. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about, every detail, see? The little, they put a little label on there so you can just lift the computer out of the box. What else have we got in the box? You don't get, like you said, you don't get an awful lot these days. A little thing, power cable, that's it. <laughs> Look at that. That's all you get now, power cable. Wow, nothing in it, probably warranty information. But this is what we've come to see anyway. Uh, the Mac Mini, one of <sighs> one of the things that they've done is they've changed the, the even though this looks identical to the one I have upstairs from seven years ago, um, they, they, what they've done is they've changed the ports on the back and they're covered at the moment. And you can see on the back here, we've got power, ethernet, USB-C, HDMI, and then two USB-A ports. The addition of two USB-C and the removal of the lightning ports. Once I've finished the unboxing, then I'm gonna connect it and I'm gonna run a test, a bench test, to uh, show the difference in performance. Now this has actually got 
This, this computer's actually got the same RAM as my previous computer. It's got 16 gigs of RAM. I would have put more in, but they don't allow you to. That's the, that's the most, it comes standard with eight gigs, but I, I got 16, which was the most I could put in. Uh, I also updated the, the pathetic hard drive of 512 gigabytes to one terabyte. It did give me the option of going up to two terabytes, but it was 600 pounds extra. All right, so we'll, we'll open the keyboard next. Again with the little flappy thing and there we go that is super thin wow and what do we get in here we got a uh, lightning cable so that's it so we got super thin keyboard wow that's incredible how thin that is look how thin that is wow I thought my uh, I thought my current keyboard was thin, but this is incredible. Interesting. And lastly, the new mouse. There's absolutely no reason for me to buy a new mouse because I've actually got two already. But uh, you can't be rocking a black keyboard and, and still have your old white mouse, can you? So my old, my old equipment, my old computer and keyboard and mouse will go to my assistant slash partner. <laughs> uh, she doesn't need, she doesn't edit, so she, she's doing like admin and stuff, and that computer will be fine for, for what she needs. And there is your mouse. That is a beautiful looking thing. In actual fact, I think I might just leave that in the box like that, put it on my, uh, on one of my shelves. <laughs> just admire how beautiful it is. <laughs> Look at that. New toys. Love it. Okay, so we're on my old computer and in Final Cut Pro. This is a video I made last year. It's called 10 Largest Yachts by Volume. It's a huge file and it's got a lot of data in there. It's got a lot of video files, a lot of graphics, a lot of texts, and it took a long time to make and a long time to render on my old computer. So I cleared out the cache and I started from scratch. You can see in the top right hand corner, I've got the render screen on. Now this is something when, you, when you're editing videos, this is something that plagues you because you can't export any files until it's fully rendered. It basically just means that it's making a single file out of all of this stuff. And as you can see here, uh, it's taken a long time. It's, it's only on 10% and it's been going for quite a while. And as you can see, the, the final uh, time was 31 minutes and 36 seconds. There's a visual way to see that a file is rendering. And if you see these dots at the top of the timeline there that are gradually disappearing, that's showing me where the uh, how far the render is along. Now, after I finished, after I completed this, I sh I backed up my computer, I closed it down, and then I recovered that backup on the new machine, and it effectively gives me the same, uh, the exact same system on my new computer. All right, so now I'm on my new Mac Mini. And I've, uh, like I said, I've, I've uh, restored everything. So it's exactly the same. And I'm gonna start the render and I'm gonna start the stopwatch at the same time. So initially I was a, a little bit nervous um, because it's taken a little while to get up to 1% there. And it's just obviously basically starting the process. But once it starts, then it flies through and you'll see in a couple of minutes uh, how quickly, how much quicker it is compared to the old computer. Okay, so I've jumped ahead to the six minute mark and you can see already that it's on 90 something percent there. Incredible, the difference in speed compared to this, compared to my old computer. In, when Apple does these comparisons on their websites, they compare it to the, the previous model, right? Assuming that you've got the, the last model I'm comparing a seven-year-old computer to a brand new computer. So the, 
the difference is much much bigger so it's it's quite incredible that it's uh, it's only taken this long and as you can see it's already going to finish and it finishes at six minutes and 40 seconds now let's compare that to the time it took on the original computer all right so what an incredible difference seven years makes i was expecting it to be faster but i wasn't expecting it to be that much faster it took 20 percent of the time to render that same file uh, so that's an 80 percent improvement on the time that it took uh, my previous computer uh, which is i mean I'm, I'm super pumped about that uh, it's very early days i've only just got my new computer set up because it's a new computer because it's the it has the M1 processor. There are some differences between the Intel based. If you're an older person like me, you'll remember when the switch came from the Motorola chips to the Intel chips. And there was some compatibility issues because the code was different. The way it was written for the different processors required a different programming. And the same is, is the case now. So some of the third party apps they require a, an application called Rosetta, which is an Apple-based uh, application that is it's like an emulator that runs to allow those applications to run in this emulator so that so they can operate, otherwise they won't run. I've been having some issues with my Photoshop. Now, I've updated my Photoshop, which is meant to run natively on the new M1 processor, but I'm still having some issues with it. So it's not all plain sailing but I'm sure these, these problems will be ironed out that the M1 processor is very new. Uh, I'm super excited. The majority of the things I do on my computer are Final Cut Pro and Photoshop. So those are the two main things. And uh, the, the speed increase from this new processor is fantastic. Like I said, I've only, only used it, effectively I've only used it to render this, this um, file. That's all I've done on it, so I need to spend some more time on it, but I'm super encouraged by the increase in the speed, and I'm very excited moving forward. It's gonna save me so much time when I'm editing. All right, guys, anyway, I'm gonna wrap, I'm gonna wrap up here because I'm going on a little bit, I can feel it. So I'm gonna wrap up, and uh, let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. Have, do you already have a new computer with an M1 processor? Are you thinking about buying one? Uh, if you've got any questions, more specific questions about the new computer, uh, let me know below and, uh, and we'll, we'll talk about it in the comments. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to like it if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, guys, bye-bye.